Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday, uh, June what, 24th? June 23rd? I don't know. It's Thursday. We got a huge day today. Um, what do we got? 15, 15 on the schedule. We go up to Pooler and we just clean up all the way down and we end around this area here. Uh, if we get all 15 done, I think it's either 15 or 16. We get all 15 done. That will include two jobs of, uh, or three jobs of bed prepping for straw and mulch. That will leave straw and mulch to do tomorrow. Two straw jobs and a mulch job, uh, and then also a pressure wash job for a driveway and sidewalk. Um, and then that will leave five lawns for old boy to go out Saturday and do on his own. And I think he's going to have a helper this time. Um, but it's five good sized yards that I want to give him an opportunity to go out and do that will give him two days this week of solo work um, on his own and an opportunity to, to prove that he can do it and make me some money make himself some money and um, so we're just gonna have to see so let's uh, let's get right into this day doing a little bit of maintenance on my machines just getting things ready make sure I got edge of blades we do the line ready to go it's a big day I'd like to be done by 430 have everything done by 4.30 back in my driveway and um, be set up for a great, great Friday. Make some money Friday and then um, go into the weekend where I can relax and he can go out and do some work and that's that. So let's see what happens. I will update you guys on any information I can get on that accident from yesterday, that five, five uh, deaths um, on I-16. Uh, right now, they're not really saying much of anything, so we'll just have to see. I will be back. So this is one of the yards tomorrow um, that we're going to straw. So today we're going to mow it, edge it, weed eat it, and we're going to go up and spray the hell out of the flower beds. Um, they're not in bad shape. This is a super thick yard. So this one's a little bit rough to do. We'll do a little bit of filming on this one.
really need a shoot locker. I think I'm gonna purchase one. Uh, super thick yard, super thick. Looks damn good when it's all cleaned up, huh? Thick and healthy, tall edges. I like it. Now, tomorrow, I got old boy spraying the weeds. Tomorrow, we're gonna come and straw this. So, we're gonna get about 12, bell, 12 bales of straw and do this whole front bed here, all this, and that little bed there. And uh, this will be one happy camper. But yeah, it is a thick yard. Thick, healthy, beautiful. Got a little spot, he had some fungus, so he's working on that. He does a lot of his own stuff. So. We'll see. If he needs sod, I'll, I'll get him some sod if he needs sod. All right, uh, next yard. So here's another one. Uh, we're gonna be doing the pine straw in this yard tomorrow. So this tree in this front bed here. So another uh, about 11 or 12 bales. So we mowed it today and uh, I sprayed the hell out of all the weeds. So uh, we should be good. We'll be able to get through it tomorrow, no problem. Okay, this is going to be the third one that we're going to straw here and we're going to straw here, this tree, that tree, and I sprayed the weeds. So I sprayed the grass there, come around here all the way to the air conditioner. So this will be the third one to straw tomorrow. And then um, three to straw tomorrow and... Three to straw tomorrow and a house to pressure wash. Well, a driveway to pressure wash. So, uh, this is five yards done, 11 more to go. The um, shaft going down to my edger uh, broke. So you give it throttle and um, it's, it's stripped down at the gear head down at the bottom there. So, um, almost got a year out of it. It's the combi, the steel uh, combi system with the straight shaft edger. So almost got a year out of it and it broke. So um, a little disappointing, but you know, whatever. Anything mechanical can break at any time. So I'm gonna run to my house here because we were just right in the next neighborhood. I'm gonna grab my echo edger and that's just your regular curve shaft edger. Um, I'm gonna grab my echo edger so we can finish our day uh, with that. And at the end of my day, I will bring my uh, steel to um, Andy's here. And I believe all shafts are under warranty. So that's a good thing about steel is uh, they pretty much have a no questions asked warranty on them. So I'll go bring this to steel probably at the end of the day. After we do these three, I got six more to do all on one street. So... Um, None of them are really together either. It's one, two, three, four, yeah, and none of them are together. So it's six individual houses, but it's all on one street, all within a half a mile of each other, all on one street. So we'll knock those six out. Um, and so that will be 16 yards done today. Three of them prepped for uh, pine straw and uh, we'll be in pretty good shape. And so that will leave him to do five mows, five mowing jobs on Saturday. And um, five mowing jobs on Saturday and um, three pine straw jobs and a pressure wash job tomorrow. So not bad. I'll be right back. So it's two o'clock. We got six to go. Um, they're all on the same street. So we're going to knock out these six real fast. And uh, I got to text a lady to see if she wants me to do her yard. So it might be seven. Um, but one of them at that group of three we were just doing, the lady came out and asked if we could do her next week because they're moving. So they want it done for the inspection. So I didn't do one. So we got nine done right now. So nine done, six to go, possible seven. So it's a 15 or 16 yard day. Hey guys, so uh, we were able to finish. We did 15 yards today. We were done at 4.30. Um, so that's pretty cool. I was hoping to get done at 4.30 and we did get done at 4.30 and I did not do that one extra yard. So we did end up doing 15 lawns today. We prepped the three for 
uh, straw. I thought one was going to be a mulch because they had red cypress mulch down once before. Not, not by me. Somebody else, I guess, did it or they did it themselves. Uh, but they went with straw. So, uh, so that set me up for a good week. Um, like I, I got, you know, closing out an awesome lawn week. Um, and that's just what we did. So we closed out the, the week of lawns. Tomorrow we go into other work, pine straw, pressure washing. Picked up a house to pressure wash tomorrow too. So we're going to do a house wash. We're going to do a driveway wash and sidewalk. Um, and we're going to do three pine straw jobs. So we'll get some video of all that. Um, and then Saturday I will send him out to go do five yards um, on his own. And let him make a little extra money. And um, take it from there. So... Thanks for hanging out with me. I wanted to close the vlog out because I, I didn't get a chance to. We really started um, humping through those last six yards. They're one right after the other. So I mowed and blew off and I had him edge, weed eat, and then take the truck and trailer to the next yard and edge, weed eat, and go to the next yard, edge, weed eat. So from 2 o'clock to 4.30, we did six yards. Uh, so two and a half hours, six yards with travel. Um, can't complain. So... That closes it out for the day, and uh, I really do appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, the final update I got on that accident from um, yesterday, yesterday's vlog, they don't know what caused the Mustang to go across the big, huge median and go head on into uh, traffic. So I guess once they figure that out, I'll let you know. Um, but it that was a terrible situation. Um, but... Um, so that's it. So we're done. We're done for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. And uh, I'm super excited about tomorrow. I love having like other things to do besides just mowing lawns. So I'll see you guys real soon. Bye.